Yeah, it's better than the story. <laughs> Double text. Got me out of my element. I don't want to feel like I'm settling. Double text. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan Flowers. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not new here, hey boo. Welcome to another weekly vlog. Today is Sunday. Happy Sunday. Um, let me rewind it back to yesterday. I got a couple clips of us going, um, doing this little like movie night, but only a couple clips. So let me just take y'all back and then meet me back here. I wanna let you know that you don't have to go. Don't wonder no more what I think about you If it's something that you want, then you should make me your girl, your girl If it's something that you need, then baby come and share my world, share my world. Oh, oh, oh. If it's something that you want, then come and Okay, so now that that's over um, we had a cute time. My best friend had this little like blow up screen as you guys could see a little bit But it was cute. We watched we tried to watch air We had like ordered some pizza. We had some drinks, you know, just a cute little vibe and it was freezing Like June fight back. It was freezing outside, but um, it was still cute. We had a good time now this morning I'm about to go bike riding <laughs> with my friend Mecca and I'm just wearing if y'all can see me at all, sorta. But I'm just wearing this little like skirt. It's like this Nike skirt. I got this from like Marshalls years ago. Um, and then just like a little black shirt. I have like a bra, a sports bra one under it. And that's it. And I'm probably gonna wear like a fanny pack because I was like, where am I gonna put my phone? Wow. Um, right. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> it's chicken. So you like, they so you, you said what? They're running it out. That's what you do? You let them out? They can. We'll be here. Chicken. Okay. They scared of you. They scared of me? Like, they scared of you. People? Like, yeah, you know. Aww. So they're separated because they fight? They fight. Yeah. yeah. I've you seen got the white to them? Where is it? The front of her neck. That's how you can tell they were fighting. Oh. They'll go for each other next. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see if we got some eggs in here. <gasps> eggs? So how often does that work? Like, how often do they, like, lay eggs? Every day. Every day? <laughs> every day. Oh, I guess that's why we get so many eggs. <laughs> they multiply every day. That's so cool. So you just, how does that work? You just, so they. Okay. They don't have no eggs up there. Um, excuse me. She's laying some now. No! Oh, it's okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> she gonna find her way to get beat up somewhere. Um, she's laying eggs she's now. She's like laying some now. Big buzzer. Yeah, that's the big bee right there. Look at all them, they're just chilling. That's so cool. Oh, because there's no eggs. Look at you, you scary. You know, I used to be in there. Look. You might as well go back in here, little buddy. Oh my god. Okay. Guys, this is Mecca, by the way. Oh, this shirt. Wait, turn around. This sweater. Oh, it's so cute. She's growing strong. How black and berry sweeter the juice. How freaking mm. cute. Like the meta that's really, really chill. Like So what else do you plan on growing? Is that a tomato? Right here, yeah. Wait, what's this right here? That right there? Eggplant. Oh, a radish? Yeah, that's radish. Cool. Yeah, yep, eggplant is and all of the strawberries. It's so many of them. It's so many of them. Try one. All in here. The oh, big, the big, the shinier and red. This is a good one. Yeah, right from nature. Let me say. Yes. Let me flip the camera. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna try one too? Yeah. Wait, I gotta t face the sun. I mean, well, it's not even gonna work, Morgan. All right, I don't even know. Wait. Oh. <laughs> if it's gonna work. The strawberry. Oh, but it's like a little too. Okay. So we're trying strawberries straight from the source from mother earth yep <laughs> it's so sour watch it's sour look how juicy it is it's so good <laughs> that is good it's not sour at all mm 
Mm-hmm. What's so cool? You gonna go home with some? I'm gonna give you some. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm gonna give you some because they so good. It's better than the store. <laughs> <laughs> like, am I, am I the that is funny. <laughs> I need another one. one. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. It's so many though. So what? What's this? For? The good thing about strawberries. Oh. They, we start growing like how you. You see how these are like kind of wrapped around. Okay, so they so, just wrap yeah, around here. Because they they grow the plants grow better when they're like kind of wrapped. Okay. Like some plants, like the tomato plants. When they start growing out like this, they can't just hang. And you gotta. Oh, is that edamame? Yes. Oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm just like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so cool, you guys. It's edamame. Mm -hmm. Honestly, don't know why the pepper hasn't. Uh, some pepper has come up. But like not not enough. Yeah. The strawberries. The good thing about strawberries, you plant them once and they come every summer. So these are last year's strawberry seeds. Okay. Seeds, yeah. Okay. Chicky. Look at all these chickens. <laughs> all right, now don't come out. There. She came out. <gasps> They're brown. You didn't really see them. Oh, that's so cool. That's crazy, right? <laughs> Try one at home. Oh gosh, <laughs> that's so scary. <laughs> Why is it scary? It's really not. It's really how you should be straight from the source. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, let me get these pretzel crumbs. But when I tell y'all that was awesome, I love that. I just had the best day. I got all these pretzel crumbs in my seat because I was eating pretzel. Yo, I got an egg. <laughs> now we going with a chicken egg. <laughs> Yo, that was everything. Like, and I kept saying I want to go bike riding. If you guys remember in my Miami vlog, I was like, oh, I'm going to go to Miami and ride bikes. Never rode them. Never rode them. So that was just, and she put it on her story. Like, if anybody wants to go bike riding, I said, me, we can go tomorrow. That was just, that was just a great morning. It's about 11:15. I do have to work later. So I'm gonna go home, take a nice shower because whew, we literally brought y'all like, I forgot my music was playing. Hopefully that's not copyrighted or anything. <laughs> I gotta turn the air on. But y'all, I haven't rode a bike in years, like quite literally years. So um, I told her that. <laughs> And we was like, okay, so we just rolled around the community, the complex at first, just like giving the drive a little bit of a, giving the ride a, fit, a feel at first. But I was like, once you learn how to ride a bike, you never forget. So it's just, you know, we were just riding, everything was fine. I was recording, trying to record a little bit because I, um, I wanted to show y'all at least something, but of course I'm riding a bike, so I can't really do much <laughs> recording. Um, 
but we were riding our bikes and then we went to a coffee shop which i showed y'all but we we rode there and <laughs> i felt like a cyclist right because this the road didn't have any well one part of the road didn't have any bike lanes or anything so the cars we riding right next to the cars i said oh my god <laughs> i was a little paranoid at first but um but it was a great time like i said yo anytime <laughs> you want to go bike riding again just please let me know i will for sure be back to bike ride and just like the whole just everything because i love the, the strawberries and the chicken <laughs> this is like cool and i was and we kept talking about like um simple luxuries like every there was a bunch of little things throughout our um time this morning that just reminded me of simple luxuries like things that 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 people don't see every day like you know just being able to ride a bike in the community like just something simple like that it's a it's a luxury right like the strawberries and the eggs in your backyard it's a luxury like it's just kind of amazing um just to you know just to kind of have so so now i'm headed home and I'm gonna, I, it's Sunday, so I have to make sure the vlog is okay. Y'all, I did get copywritten, so I had to redo it, but this was yesterday, so. Um, so I have to go and check and make sure everything's good. I think I have to finish the description box. It was something I had to finish, but y'all, I, I didn't get to finish. So I'm gonna have to finish that when I get home after my shower. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit. And, okay, be right Hey guys, happy Monday. You guys just saw me just um, just get ready for the morning. I ended up going to, all I had to do was go to the bank and pay my rent. That was it. That was all. So I did that this morning and I actually just ended a call with Jalen Baden. If you're watching this, hey girl. <laughs> hey boo. Um, no, but I, um, I'll have her pay her, her YouTube below. She's another creator. Her content, Chef's Kiss. You know, we get, I get a lot of my tips and a lot of my just, um everything you need to know about content creation from her so i'm gonna put her page in the description box if you guys are interested in looking for someone else to subscribe to yeah um but what i was gonna say is today it's about 12 o'clock i do was it's more like 11 40 
um and i do have to work later so i've just been kind of chilling today um this weekend is my little family trip <gasps> we're excited um so like i said i told you guys in my last vlog that we're gonna do like zip lining and like all that fun stuff so i can't wait to vlog that for y'all um wait what's today oh what's today yeah so i can't wait to vlog that for you sorry y'all i was just thinking about my structure of the week like how i would when i would upload this one mm, i gotta figure that out but in the meantime i'm gonna just chill i'm drinking the rest of my kombucha because i didn't even finish and i will talk to you guys a little bit later okay bye hey guys happy tuesday um i didn't even tell y'all this the other day i got invited to my first influencer event like personally invited and y'all like i i almost cried why i had been to influencer creator events before but usually that invite was through someone else like i was kind of the plus one now mind you i don't mind being a plus one make me your plus one if you get invited to something you're like oh morgan bet you want to come yes like absolutely um i appreciate it every single time um but this was just the first time that a brand that i've worked with before reached out to me like hey like we're inviting you to our event that we're having in New York. I told y'all New York was going to see me this summer. I told y'all. I told y'all New York was going to see me this summer. And that was actually a part of my, um, one of my creator goals. I wanted to be invited to like a New York, or not a New York. I wanted to be like personally invited to an event. Like, hey Morgan, we want you to come to our event, blah, 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 blah. I'm in there like swimwear. I don't care if I got to call out. I actually might be calling out that day. And I don't care. It's already, it's already written. You know, it's already written. But basically, what I was sitting here trying to do is find an outfit. Now, yes, I was on I was on Zara. I was looking for something cute because I kind of wanted to be like cute and fun because it's you know it's summertime. Basically, it's June. It's summertime, so it's just like you know I wanted it to be fun. I kind of wanted to do a little bit of color, so I was like looking on Zara, trying to find something to wear. It's not going to be a heels thing. I'm gonna try. I may have to buy a pair of flats. I may have to end up buying something anyway. But I wanted to show you guys what I had in my actual closet. Because I was like, Morgan, what do you have in your closet? I guess. All right, so I do have this Zara like satin slip dress that I haven't worn yet. I wasn't really sure how I like it on my, like the fit of it on my body. Um, because you know, like slip dresses, they're slouchy. So it's like, okay, do they compliment my body or like does it not? So I was kind of debating between this one because it does have like this pretty little like detailing to it. Again, it's satin and it's like long or like satin effect. I don't think it's real satin, but it's pretty long. It comes down. So I was like, okay, this is an option. Now I don't know what shoes I would wear with it. So I know y'all can't really see me too much, but... I know it's like, you know, it's kind of like a drape, like a cow neck sort of thing. But you can kind of see a little bit of the vibe, what I would do. Um, of course, my hair is a whole nother issue. <sighs> my hair is a whole nother issue. So, I got to figure my hair out. I probably, I'm definitely going to be taking these out because, like, my hair is coming out of it. Like, it, that's why I be, I be keeping it in these little buns because, like, my hair is literally coming out. Uh-uh. My hair been coming out of it since last week. We gonna be honest. So I'm definitely taking my hair out. I'm probably gonna do like a natural style, like probably some bantu knots, like a little claw clip situation or yeah, claw clip. Cause I kept calling them banana clips in my other vlog by just habit. They're really a, it's a claw clip, but whatever. Um, so I might do like a natural claw clip type of moment, natural hair, natural curl type of thing. Well, not my natural curls. They're gonna be bantu knot curls. <laughs> so this is option number one. Again, trying to find something I have that I actually already have in my closet. Now, again, I do have to find something to wear on my feet, so that's like a whole nother task. But then I forgot, y'all. I had this dress from Finesse. Y'all remember this little like satin looking dress, like yellow, and it has like the frills. This one's a short dress. It actually is pretty short. Um, I just tried it all on because I was like, hmm. And then the back kind of has like a dip, but it's like kind of frilly. So I tried this one. Oh, that looks very short. But keep in mind, the back is a little low. So it's not, I think it looks shorter than what it actually is. It does cover my booty, but it is still on the short side. So I was thinking about this one because, again, it's just cute. It has some color to it because, of course, we, we love a neutral. But I was like, maybe something with some color. I've been seeing all this content from the um, the event that just passed, the champagne. It's called like Vove something. If you, if you one of the creators, you if you follow any creators on Instagram or whatever, they probably you probably have seen some type of content. I know Octavia B went. 
um, Sean Garrett, like the skin doll. I know he went. This other creator on, that I have on TikTok, like a bunch of people were there. Um, and they all had on like these really pretty colorful outfits. And I was like, Morgan, color, like, you know, I mean, I love a good neutral, but like color, be eaten too, especially when like your complexion. So I was thinking about that, but again, I don't know what to wear on my feet. Um, the hair is, like I said, another issue, but I think I'm just gonna, I'm probably gonna end up doing the Bantu knots, most most likely. Um, but yeah, of course I have the stuff that I got from Micah's, but I didn't want to wear a long sleeve. Like the white dress, that's not, nah, that's not really appropriate, nah, that's not really the vibe. So nothing I have from Micah's really fits the vibe, in my opinion. Like I want something kind of like flowy, like a little flowy, maybe something floral. I had something in my Amazon, not Amazon, something in my Zara cart that was kind of like floral. It was like a little floral scrunchy dress. It was kind of cute. So I was thinking about that. But again, I have to find like shoes, bag. If I do do a, if I do do a claw clip, I have to figure out if I should buy another one, like what color claw clip. Like, you know, all the details I got to figure out. But um, I'm excited and I'm so happy. I'm so blessed because I was like, that was something on my little goal, my content creator goals that I was like, I would love to be like personally invited. Like, hey, we would like for you to come to, like, it's just a good feeling, you know? Um, and I love a good creator event. Love them. And also one of the perks of putting New York in my bio too, because the event is in New York. So I was like, listen, I'll travel to New York. I will, okay? I'm not that far. I don't, you know, it's a drive, but I'm not, or, you know, travel, train, whatever I have to do, I will go, but it's just like, you know, but I'm blessed. I'm happy. I'm thankful. Um, this weekend is the family trip that I told you guys about. So I have to like get my little, like not my outfits. Cause it's not that big of a deal. I'm just going to put some shorts and like some easy stuff together. Mother nature did make an appearance. So I'm glad that she came now so that by the weekend, hopefully she's, she gets the boots. The boot <laughs> y'all can't even see my foot <laughs> but um hopefully she gets out of here soon so i can be comfortable have fun and all that good stuff so i'm excited if you do have an opinion about which one you can see me in more just let me know i would love to know what okay yes this vlog is going out before i did before i'll be going so let me know if you like the neutral vibe long slip dress or like the little frilly color situation or if I should just get something new. Because that's like really... Zara does shit pretty quickly. So I was like, maybe I should just like order something real quick. Just a couple things. And then just see what I want or whatever. Or see what fits best. Stuff like that. Um, But yeah, I'm excited. Hey y'all. Happy Wednesday. I just finished talking about how expensive everything is. Like, we... And I have this sweater on because I just went to get my car serviced. And it be kind of cold in places. I don't got time to be cold. Okay, but... I can take it off now. Um, but I just finished talking about how expensive everything is. Yes, this is something that we know. But I'm like, being a woman, you just like, you just, being a woman, you just, we just add to the expense, just adds to the expenses. Um, I had to get restocked on my feminine products, right? I'm trying to move y'all over, but I got all this stuff on the floor. <laughs> all my mica stuff is literally still sitting here. I, I keep saying I'm going to do a haul. Maybe I'll do that today for TikTok. But anyway, I just had a restock on my feminine products. And, like, God forbid you're a woman who likes some variety because everything's so expensive. <laughs> so, basically, okay, I got um, the thin pads. These are the cotton ones. I try to stick to cotton, but, again, you can't, you can't get everything in cotton. Well, you can. You can. I'm lying. You definitely can't get everything in cotton. Um, but I was at Walmart and like I usually like to go to Target because they have like a different variety. They have more like cotton organic stuff. Like they don't. They had the L the L brand tampons, but they didn't have. They don't always have the the plus the super ones. Like I don't want regular in my box. Like I don't want the regular ones. I just want super. But anyway, they didn't have that. So I just ended up getting Tampax, which. I got the Super Plus because this is the kind that I used to use. I'm not going to get too TMI on y'all. But anyway, um, and then I got some panty liners. But God forbid you like variety because 
it just gets even more expensive that was $21 altogether right but I usually like I like thick pads I like the thin pads I like tampons panty liners like I like to have variety because sometimes it from day to day it changes I might want to wear this I might want to wear that day to day hour to hour it changes you know so I like I need I need a I need one of everything so I didn't even get like the the thick pads because I actually already still have like the the L brand cotton um pads so i didn't even need those but it just gets so expensive everything's so pricey why did i pay 21 dollars to bleed you know but whatever um capitalism <laughs> so so i just sat here where's my phone so i had to go get a car service I don't know if I explained this to you guys in the vlog already, but if you have a white Hyundai or if you know somebody with a white Hyundai, they're doing the paint fixing. I think I did explain this already because it was like vlogs ago when I made my appointment. So they took pictures of my car today and um, they, I have to set up, well they're going to call me to set up an appointment to get my car like repainted, but they said they're not doing that until like November. They're not planning, like my appointment wouldn't be until the end of the year. But it's okay, we're getting, the, we're getting our paint fixed. Thank God, because like, yo, I hated that paint. I was like, yo, I, I should have got a black car. I should have got a black car. But anyway, um, I'm about to do something with my life. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. My appointment was at 7.30, and I purposely made it early at the crack of dawn because I was like, let's get out, let's get up, let's get, let's get going. So it's 9 a.m. It's like 9.15, 9.18 to be exact. Um, so I'm like, what should I do? I kind of want to go skating. Like, y'all, I haven't been skating in weeks. I want to go skating. But I need to do my laundry. So, I'm about to do my laundry. And maybe I'll go skating. What's tomorrow? No, I'm probably not. Mm, I might. I do a double today. So, I get off tomorrow morning. So, I'm thinking maybe I'll go skating in the morning when I get off work. Maybe I do my laundry in the morning when I get off work. Hmm. I'm going to do something today. Because I be like, I be trying to do be active in some way I try to be active in some sort of way I haven't been active since I went bike riding early in the vlog so I need to do something this week before I go on my little trip before we go on our family trip we have to do something so I'm gonna figure it out put this stuff away um again I'm probably gonna do that Micah's haul just just to get it out the way y'all I'm clicking stuff I have so much footage in my phone that needs to be posted I'm about to just start posting on TikTok twice a day until I get rid of the footage that I have in my phone that I have to still edit and post. So, <laughs> but I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check in with y'all a little bit later. Um, I'm gonna do something with my life. Something. So what I'll do also is I'll let me turn my light off. It's so loud. But what I'll do also is I put a tampon and a panty liner in in my bags. <laughs> okay. The obvious reason, of course, is because so that just in case if I'm ever out. And I need see, I put the tampon and a panty liner. So of course, if I ever need something and I'm out and I already have a tampon, that's the obvious reason. Like, okay, you never know when you're gonna come on, and I just kind of keep them in the tuck. These like little hiding spaces. And then the second reason I do that is because if I ever run out, <laughs> if I ever run out, I'll just literally go in my bags and just. That's literally what I just did, y'all. If I ever run out of a tent, like out of tampons out of my bathroom i'll be like you know what i don't need to go right to the store right away because i got some in my bag so <laughs> i was going through my bags and literally like um taking the tampons out of my bags because i was like okay i'm just gonna use these because they're <laughs> my backup look this one already, <laughs> this one already got one some in there <laughs> but i'm like these are my little backups i actually had two in this one but like i just be putting them in there and then they just my backups it's like my little my little safe space um and i've been do i've been doing that since forever child so i just keep putting them in all my little bags <laughs> let's see if my cell far has one in it already because sometimes there'd be one in there already oh it's not okay so i'm just going to take <laughs> tampon and put it in my cell far <laughs> ah! so i never really run out for real i'm actually going to put one i love this bag y'all y'all know i love this bag my jw pay i'm going to get some more stuff from them this summer for sure for sure like for sure Let's see if this has one in it already. And it does. That is so... Y'all, I just got this bag. And I, <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Like, you know, you can never be too prepared. Keep a tampon in there. And also, just like I said, like, you never know 
when I'm gonna run out and I just always have like a little backup stashed somewhere. They always stashed somewhere. And I just put them up there like that, whatever, whatever. Boop. And then, oh, my little period pouch. I call it my period pouch. <laughs> Do y'all call it, y'all have a pouch for like your period stuff? Okay, so basically this is the pouch that I take with me to work. I think I got this from my grandma. This is definitely my grandma's. If you guys, it's a really old pouch. But basically I keep like a bunch of like little, I got a pair of gloves in here. This was when I was wearing Diva Cups because if you know anything about a Diva Cup, if you ever tried a Diva Cup, let me know if you tried a Diva Cup before. Because you need, I don't know, I'll be having to put on a pair of gloves for the Diva Cup because I can't. I could not. Ugh. But anyway, um... So yeah, this is my little period pouch. I also have like a pad in here. I actually should put another one. I got plenty of panty liners in here. I don't need not one more panty liner up in there. But I usually keep like different types of pads in here. I usually, as a matter of fact, while we here, I'm gonna just put a bigger, a thin pad in here too. But this is the one, this is what I take to work with me. So whenever I'm, whenever I'm about, I know I'm about to come on or like, of course when I'm on, I'll just bring this little pouch and I got everything in here that I need. My little period pouch. And then I still have tampons in my purse because, because again, you could just never be too sure. You can never be too sure. Um, but y'all, I decided to go, oh, you know what I didn't even, oh, I guess it doesn't matter at this point. I was just about to explain something that nobody cares about. <laughs> like, girl, with a layer. But yeah, that's how I operate in my period. I know everyone has their own little methods and stuff, but I find it to be like the most, the, the way I've been doing it for, since infinity and beyond. Um, but yeah, I decided to go skating this morning because sometimes what I do, like I said, I get off in the morning. I get off at eight tomorrow morning. And what I do is I'll just go to the laundromat right after work. Like I literally have my laundry sitting in the car. As a matter of fact, let me make sure I get my soap. But my laundry is literally, my basket is literally sitting in the back of my car. It's been sitting in the back of my car for days because I need to wash my clothes. And that's just like my reminder, like Morgan, go to the laundromat. But basically what I'll do after work, as soon as I get off the clock, I'll just go straight to the laundromat. I already got my clothes with me. And I just gotta bring my detergent and I use the all free and clear. No scents, no dyes. Yeah, so. Put that over there so that when I go, I can just put it in my car. So I'm actually gonna go skating this morning. It's about 9.30 now. Um, yeah, I'm going to go skating this morning. I'm probably going to, well, I am going to change my clothes because this, I don't, I, I pretty much wear like nonsense to skate. But it's such a nice day, so it's like, okay, I got to figure out if I should wear, maybe I'll keep these shorts on. But yeah, I have a pair of shorts on. These are like little like sweat shorts. So I'll probably end up going skating in this and probably just change into like a t-shirt. So I'm going to go skating. I haven't been in a little, I haven't been in a little minute. I'm talking too fast. And um, yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Happy, um, what's today? Thursday. Y'all, I'm, I got off work. I'm in the middle of doing my laundry. I need to go get some gas and I wanna go get a matcha. I need to go get something to put on my stomach. But I'm, I'm so sick, y'all. This air quality stuff, uh, it ruined my whole weekend. I'm so, oh my God, y'all, I had my family trip planned and now we're talking about like whether we sh should go. Cause how are we gonna zip line and the air quality is unhealthy. This is all Canada's fault. Just blame Canada. Somebody tweeted and said, you know, let's go get Lil, uh, what's his name? Tory Lanes to go and put the wildfire out himself. Like, <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, but like I'm so mad at Canada right now. I mean it's not like I don't know. But my whole weekend it might be ruined and I'm really sad about it. I'm actually really sad. Y'all know I just kept talking about this family trip. I was so excited to go. So and um and for the most part, my aunts, my grand it's my aunts and my grandma and it's like okay. I don't want them risking um, any type of like breathing issues, you know, anything of the sort. So 
he may end up having to move it which is very whatever but um i'm sick honestly y'all and then on top of that i just told you guys i was invited to my first brand event of course the event is next it's in new york and new york is having air issues too Morning, Hi. Good morning. Can I um fill it up regular, please? Up regular. Sorry, one second. Now you're good. There you go. Thank you. I like the color of your locks. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm so sick. You know what? I'm actually about to go and get something to eat from in here. I'm not even gonna lie. Let me just go in here. I'm gonna. I was about to go to Starbucks, but I'm literally, I get a matcha from here. Like, I might as well just go in here. I'm so sick. But yeah, the event is next week, too, in New York. And of course, New York's air levels are horrible. I'm so sick. Like, oh my gosh. Ugh. Stupid. Stupid earth. It's like, <laughs> it's like that. Um, actually, I'm going to leave y'all in here. Yeah, so I saw this post before on TikTok, and I think I might have explained this to you guys before. I had a conversation with someone about it. <sighs> oh. But it was basically saying, if you think of a compliment for someone, like if you see somebody out and you want to give them a compliment, say it. Like, just say, and it seems like such, it seems like, so, I could have went, it seems like such common sense. Sorry, I'm shaking, but it seems like such common sense. Um, but I think that, like, we get into the habit of maybe thinking something but not saying it. You ever do that? It was just like, oh, her, her, hair, her hair looks cute. And you don't let her know. But, like, you think about how much that can change a person's, like, and this is what the TikTok was saying, like, how much it can change. A, it could change the trajectory of someone's day, giving someone a compliment or, like, just, like, saying like say if someone felt really insecure about the skirt that they were wearing but they you know you wouldn't know but you complimented their skirt and i'd be like okay cool like you know you never know how a compliment can feed off so i i saw the guys the workers hair and he had it was like a light brown like lock his locks were like light brown so when i was coming out he complimented me back and i was like oh that was nice because again i probably made him feel happy about his hair like you know it was just kind of like a little exchange so I was I felt good about that. You know, you feel good making people feel good, you know? I was like, okay, you probably really appreciated my little lot compliment. So that was nice. But um, okay. And one other thing, one other thing. It's important to remember that like the compliment was given without an expectation of anything in return. Like I wasn't expecting him to come back and say anything back to me because the point is for me to compliment you and keep it pushing. It don't have to be nothing flirtatious. It don't have to be me like, oh, okay, well, he gonna tell me I look cute too. Like, no, it's not that. I genuinely just, it, the thought popped in my head like, oh, I like it, I like the color. It's like, you know? It's just like spitting it out and making other people feel good. That's really all it is. So I felt, I, I, <laughs> not I feel like I, give, I did my good deed of the day. <laughs> no, but like, I, that made me feel good. Just again, seeing him like, oh, thanks. Like, you know, seeing him like being happy that I complimented him. So. That was cool, but just a reminder too. So anyway, I got some egg bites. Like I said, I was gonna go to Starbucks, but I was just like, I'm, I'm, I'm at Wawa, so I might as well just everything I get from Starbucks you can get at Wawa. <laughs> so you guys see, I got a matcha. I got the big one too. Ooh, I got the big one. So I have to make it with oat milk, and I actually added. I actually, it's a vanilla matcha, so they use vanilla syrup and then oat milk. Like I said, I'm an oat milk girly, and I actually asked her to add vanilla. Yeah, she had three pumps of vanilla. Oh no, no, no! I said that already. I actually asked her to add. I asked her to add caramel. That's what I did, which they actually charge you for. But I don't know why it's not on their little menu. They should just put it on the menu. They don't put it on the menu. So I'll be like, hey, caramel, thank you. I appreciate you. Oh, and I got some watermelons and a hash brown. The funny thing is, I've never really been a watermelon girl. Like, I, w I was the type that I'd be like, what's the watermelon hype? Like, I don't get it. And I'm still not really, like, a watermelon girl, girl. Like, I, this is, y'all barely, like, you won't see me really buying, like, watermelon like that. Unless I really want to juice it or something. But for the most part, I don't really buy watermelon like that. I probably bought it, like, one time in the last year. <laughs> so, um, yeah. 
So I'm gonna eat that. It's about 10 o'clock. And I'm so bummed out. Mm. Not the, the hazardous, okay. Anyway, I hope everyone in Canada is okay. Because I can't imagine, like, excuse me, I can't imagine how it's affecting them because we getting it. We are, are small. I'm in New Jersey. So I can't imagine just how they feel too. So I know it's, I know it's bad. We got the conspiracy theorists coming out of the park. Y'all already know the vibes. They're in there dropping off stuff in our communities. <clears throat> you know, they might be. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but as of right now, we know Canada is on fire. There's no conspiracy about that. Now, somebody might have lit the fire. <laughs> that's a whole nother, it's not funny, but that's a whole nother story. I'm about to just take a little thumbnail picture of my matcha. Y'all, I haven't been, one thing I like to do throughout my vlogs is take pictures. Because again, for thumbnails, I had to roll my sleeve up. But for like thumbnails and like just pictures sometimes, if you have me on, sorry, if you have me on Instagram, then you know I do like vibe of the vlog where like I'll post pictures or anything that, anything, any type of picture that relates to my vlog, I'll post it in like a collage type of thing. But I'm like, I ain't been taking no pictures. Like, I don't have no pictures. If I ever don't do vibe of the vlog after I post a vlog, it's because I ain't had no pictures. <laughs> I have no pictures that didn't, that weren't a part of the thumbnail. That's what it is too. I like using pictures that I don't, well, sometimes I do use pictures that I have in my thumbnail, but sometimes I like it to be like extra pictures that I've taken throughout the week, but I ain't had none. So I gotta start thinking about my thumbnail. Y'all, it's so good. I don't even wanna know how many calories is in it. I don't wanna know. Okay, wait, one last thing, Amina. Amina followed me back, I love her. You know, one time I saw this post before. Okay, this is the last thing I'm gonna talk about. I saw this post before. And this girl was like, "Oh, like other influencers of her size are that of that are like she was um Latina, so she was like other influencers that I follow. They don't be following me back. Like da 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 da. Like you're small, just like me. Like it was like that type of vibe. And I remember I was thinking like, what do you follow people for? Like, do you follow people because? you enjoy their content or do you follow people because you expect them to follow you back like there's a difference there's it's okay to want like a mutual like that's perfectly fine you want people to support your content in the same way that you might be supporting them but like like their content for real like don't like their content for real i actually might make a tiktok about that because it's like do you actually like their content if you like their content then why are you so pressed about them following you back i will follow a creator and just like her content that's it because I'm inspired by you in some way or I think that your outfits be hitting or whatever the case may be. But it's not like she don't follow me back. I'm following her because I'm following people because I genuinely want to see them on my timeline. You know, it's a difference. So Amina, Amina, please, I'm going to put her page on the screen. I love her content. She's gorgeous. Like, she's so pretty to me. So um, I love her content and I saw her actually at um, Sip and Slay. So I was excited to see her there and I spoke to her there. So um, that was really cool. She just followed me back and I was like, oh, Amina, hey girl, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> so, but again, that was me following her because I just like her content. Not because it was like, if she don't follow me back, I'm gonna follow her. Like, <laughs> you're not following people for the right reasons. You're not using social media the way you should be. Okay, it, anyway. Y'all. Y'all are my witness. I'm going on a water diet. Okay? Look. Oh, y'all can't even see. We're not playing these games. I'm going on a water diet, y'all. I need it. My skin is getting a little, like... Y'all, I've been slipping, like, so bad. It's not even funny. It's so bad, y'all. And I need to, like, quit it. I need to quit it. But it's so bad. Done. I'm done playing these games. Should I dump this out or <laughs> should I dump this one out? But 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 it's my favorite. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep this one. Just this little one.
it can take it can literally take one thing to motivate me <laughs> i love that about myself sometimes no i love that about myself because i saw this one video on twitter and this girl was like saying how she like from march until may like how her, her workout transformation and just like what she was doing to get to where she was and she was saying like a strictly water diet and i was like it just was a reminder to me that like i haven't been on it like i i used to be where it's like okay i don't really buy juice for the house or like you know i haven't been on it at all so i'm like morgan <laughs> get back into it like right now it's no oh tomorrow oh i'll do it next week oh next month uh, no like do it right now so i need to get back into it i was drinking my drinking my um i told y'all like a couple vlogs ago that i had my what you call it um I had that really big mason jar but i broke it so i would love to get another big mason jar again so that i can put my fruits and stuff in it these little cups like you know they're fine this is really old but like they're fine whatever but for the most part i want my mason jar back um because it's just bigger you get so much more water in i feel more accomplished when i drink that mason the whole mason jar as opposed to this like you know but get my mason jar and i love seeing my fruit floating in there too <laughs> i love seeing my fruit in there making my little fruit concoctions like that's my jam but i like the contigo too because it literally has a it, this one has like a lock and stuff so you know i'll take that one with me to work but i gotta get into it like i i've been falling so bad but we're gonna get back up ain't nothing it's nothing double text got me out of my element I don't wanna feel like I'm selling double